So I think there are a couple of misunderstandings that Americans have about Iran. Um, one is that um, it's a full-on dictatorship, um, and it's not. I mean, Iran has this very complicated sort of political structure, but it, it is a country in which people vote, and their votes do count, and there is a political struggle that goes back and forth. Um, and so it, it is a vibrant sort of political scene. Um, and that's something that I think gets lost a lot in our coverage of Iran. A second thing is that uh, a lot of Americans tend to think that women are not involved uh, uh, in society in Iran and that they're sort of, you know, have to stay at home or can't drive or things like that. And actually, it's very far from the truth. Um, women in Iran do drive. Uh, over 60% of the university student population are females. Uh, they're very sort of, they're very much involved in, um, civic life, political life, um, and university life. So those are some of the things that I think um, are misunderstood. And then another one of the misconceptions that people have about it is that it's a fully Muslim country, and it's not. There are um, a lot of Jews, um, both in Iran now and of Iranian descent, who have left after the revolution. There are a lot of Baha'is. Uh, there are a lot of Christians. So uh, as religiously, it's a mixed population. Um, and because of that, all of these different groups, you know, have a different sort of relationship both to the United States and then also to what's going on in Iran today. Um, and then another, you know, people tend to think it's all desert. There's a lot of diversity as far as its geography is concerned. Um, and then people think it's unsafe. I understand where that comes from because, you know, so much of our coverage of the Middle East is about wars. Um, but within these different wars that are happening across the region. Um, Iran actually is, is a stable country. There isn't a war going on, and, and it's safe to be in Iran. It's, it's not like what we read about Iraq or Afghanistan where there are bombs going off or, um, you know, or there are different sorts of missile strikes and things like that. So I think those are some of the major misunderstandings or misconceptions that we have of the country.